Hey, Rob. Oh, I'd say you? welcome, but uh, yeah, hi, yeah, Michelle. Yeah. You guys got a seat right there. It's fine. Oh, here too. You get to. Well, I was, yeah, I was, I've been doing the typing this morning and such, so. He's the reporting officer. <laughs> no, 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 not at all. <laughs> so, um, there's a couple things that uh, we do. Um, you're a witness, obviously, and you're listed okay. as the suspect. So, uh, we need... Uh, Definitely from the statement from you. <laughs> yeah. So I'll let, I'll let you uh, work on that if you like. She, she has, I believe, a one third. Yep. One third. Yep. So my blood pressure is going to be 13. Okay. <laughs> B13, go ahead. And send it back to us. Yes. Yep. Yep. 86 West okay. Maple, 86 West Maple Street, crosses our okay. South Street and Southwest Street. Yes, please. Callers advising that the neighbor right. kids have left bags of groceries uh, on her porch. Kind of She'd like to speak to an officer. That's clear. I can follow up. Currently on a follow up right now at post. Uh, we can get back to her um, in about 20 minutes, unless B5 or. B3 can take it. You're clear. B5 or B3, are you available for a call? Kids left groceries on the road. A farm 86 one people. I don't know. 1315. Nice. <laughs> we don't know. I'm trying to think. So, while you're writing that, I'll let you write, but I'll, I'll just uh, talk openly before we're sitting. Um, so, there's a couple things. Um, when we are in a place, you know, where uh, we, I say we, it's a place, have to behave at a certain level of um, professionalism. Uh, and that translates or spills over into the civilian population where we require that of people to behave in a certain way. Uh, and when they don't, then we get involved in varying levels of uh, So I know in the past that. Uh, Mr. Stafford has seemed to draw the ire of uh, people in the community. So it shouldn't be a surprise um, that he is going to behave um, a certain way. We just have to be, you know, to be aware of that and, and behave accordingly. You just can't, you can't respond the way you want to. Just that initial response. You can't do it. <laughs> Can't do it. You'll have time to read that. If we have other witnesses, should we get them to write something as well? We have, we have about uh, four, five, six people that are there. Yeah. Not all right now. Uh, we're working on, yeah, but it just depends on if we need to bring that all together. Yeah. I don't need to. I don't know if we need all that. Depending on what you tell us. So, who did he say? Witnesses. No, I'll tell you. Uh, his complaint was solely to you. Okay. Him being the victim, you're being the suspect to it for that. Yeah. So, so for that, from that, uh, with us taking a look at the video, and I was out 
that afternoon also and, and seeing who was there. We were making a list with Detective Jones and such off of the video of our own of who was there and whose witnesses, who was close by you, who had this advantage. And so we, we did start this morning reaching out to different different ones uh, to set up a, can you come in or can we talk to you and this. And it just depends on how you know much as far as trying to identify everybody there. There's some people there I don't even know, like, who's this and who's this? But as far as I know, all the candidates were there and uh, a couple of school board candidates, I believe. Mike and, is it Josh? Jess? What Josh Preston. Josh. He was there. I don't know if there was any other school board member running or not there. Sarah Williams. Okay. She arrived after so. Okay. No. Okay. Do you have an approximate time? I don't have a time that you would not have no idea. Between the three and five, this wasn't past the five o'clock. No, it was not. We, we okay. Okay. So it'd be between the three and four then. Okay. Um, I I want to say that uh, it started at three. People was talking amongst themselves for fifteen minutes or so. We were going to give a speech, or I thought, you know. <laughs> no, John what? said, "When is it time for people to? When is it time for questions to come about? Like the school board um, ask the candidate thing." Oh, okay. He, just because he wanted to, sure, he was there to pester Meredith. That's all he wanted to do. He even has it on his Facebook page. So he's going there to pester, and I didn't think he was there. And I was so excited that he wasn't there. And then, <laughs> lo and behold, he was there. Yeah. So I, I would guess between 3.20 and 3.30. Okay. Okay. It took about 15 minutes for, until people started to break off. Okay. Because it was kind of like, well, I guess we're going to go to John stopped speaking to McKinsey and he got into position to start asking her questions. Yeah. I had not seen any of the video until this morning, uh, until he uh, sent that to us. But uh, what I witnessed, you know, during the day between the three and four. Am I messing up by talking? No, because I don't even know what's right. Just well, you can do it at home. Yeah, see it? Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, what I observed from a distance, and you guys didn't know I was observing from a distance, was. Oh, you were watching. Yes, I was watching. I did not see any big protests and no big, these are the things I'm looking at, you know, and um, I knew he was there, um, but I didn't see people having a, I was trying to block him from recording, and that's why I went like that. So, when I read this, you need to be able to discern like exactly what you were doing. So I put my hand up or uh, reach towards him or however you want to work him. But I didn't see any mass fighting and ruckus and rioting or anything like that. So that's Don't you and there was me? there was no need for us to be there. It was just us in the area. So it was just an observation. And like you said, it was little groups. And it looked like the candidates all had their own little little five foot area that if anybody wanted to talk they could go to and yeah, at the time this happened I was about ten feet away talking with uh breaking the forest. Right. So. Right, because you're right over there, yep, to her left. And it wasn't, wasn't until um, this occurred that I walked over yeah, and fell. Right. John as well, but uh, just verbal. Right, right. And you guys have a past, you know, yeah. in the sense of con conflict, I would say, in the past, what, two years at least for the vote no signs? Uh, well, it's certainly so. bigger than that. Oh, okay. okay. What, well, what I mean is that you guys know each other. You guys are aware you're John. Yeah, well, he called you by your name and, you know, left it at that. My interaction. Oh. Um, you know, that was during the first initial levy. 
after three months of um, actually his nonstop lying from his part. Uh, I spoke at the school board meeting saying, you know, you want to be against the levy? Be against the levy. You don't have to lie about it. I mean, uh, that man, yeah. I realize this is commentary, but that man lies as naturally as you and I breathe. I think he has an allergy that if he tells the truth, he would break out in hives or something. Um, so, I realize my life would be easier if I just ignored him completely. <laughs> I get that. But at the same time, I, uh, I don't think it's appropriate that uh, someone should lie as much as he does. And so, yeah. Um, you know, the, the people he goes after are all... He said, you're a coward because you were leaving. Yeah. The people he goes after are all, are mm -hmm. all good people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You may not like the decisions of some of these people, mm -hmm. but... Right. Doug Kozad, an evil man? No. <coughs> oh, God. Sunk in that couch. What is going to happen is... Um, we still have some other statements that might perhaps uh, um, leave this as. I don't even know what I said. Today's the 19th. It's not watching that. Right. Today's 19th. Today's the 19th. I know I acted like a fool. Today's the 19th. Yeah. Michelle, I'll have you sign right there. So, just my own uh, two cents. I was saying a little bit earlier. Um, I have kind of a. I'm not perfect. I know that. Uh, but you have to be cognizant of your own You have to be what's around you. You have to know what you're doing. 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 And your actions will. Okay. If you need to email me, there's my word. That's really response. You know, I'm just I'll right there. Right. That's what I mean. Oh, yeah. I mean, I realize I was a fool. I'm not going to lie. So, we're not in the business of judging. We're just not the business of judging. What we do is we look at the evidence before us and we use the process to apply the appropriate method of the law. So what, what does this mean for me? I'm going well, go to go to jail. No, if you're going to leave, you're going to go to your appointment. Uh, we're going to review this along with the other things. You'll be hearing from me probably tomorrow. Maybe, maybe tomorrow afternoon. You know, there's something I have to do in the I don't want to rush things and I don't want to short you time to be able to talk to me and ask me any questions. So, uh, so that's what we do. Um, you know, there is a flame of salt. Um, so we have to look at uh, there's a very very this disorder of conduct, assault, you know, things like that. So uh, there's elements to a crime, you know, like knowingly or recklessly behaving in a certain way. So um, that's what we that's what we do. So um, if you would just give us um, the ability to look at this um, tonight. Today, the rest of the day, and we'll look back tomorrow and we'll be in touch and uh, we'll let you know what will happen. So, will I have to go to court or? Yes. God, this is so. So, I mean, that guy, oh my God. Is she going to court no matter what? Yes. So, we'll look at this. Yep. Um, 
So, so at this point, she will go to court for yes. some sort of assault charge. But you know, yes, yeah. yeah. understood. So and that go, guy go has to, to be there. Go, go to Zee. John's going to be there. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't have to be. Um, depends on. You know, but it's okay for him to uh, post all this stuff on me. No, because now I'm like going to lose it, so and know. I have to go to the doctor, mm -hmm. and the pressure is. I don't want you to be upset, but I, I do want to be honest and truthful to you. Uh, I did nothing wrong. But holler at him. Just He was pestering Meredith. Just like calling her. And just what she was saying, and it just like made my blood boil. And I just said, "You, do, it's not party related. Yes, but... Uh, I just stand on what I said earlier. You just have to be cognizant of behavior. You just have to do that. You know? It just sucks because I do so much good for everybody else. And yeah, nobody's saying you don't. Can I stay and talk a little bit longer? Sure. Do sure. you want me to walk you out or you're okay? So we're, we're done with the... Uh, you want to just go and make sure that yeah, 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 yeah. That's no problem at all. I'll stay. Let me get out of the couch, Rob. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, almost. That's yours. All right. Can I use your pen? 